What's up YouTube? How we doing? Thanks for checking another video. In this one I'm going to do a quick overview of my trout fishing, I want to say tackle box. It's a old, when I mean old I've had this 20 years, but old fanny pack. Um, REI, just a cheap fanny pack. Um, had it laying around for a while and I use it for various kits. Um, but in this particular arrangement here I've got it set up as a trout fishing kit. Now I use spinning reels, ultralight spinning reels, or I use fly gear as well too, fly reel, fly rod. It just depends on, you know, the type of water that I'm fishing um, that day. So this particular tackle box is kind of a grab and go for trout fishing, and I'm going to go through it and show you what I got in it. Uh, so it's got two main compartments, the one here on the front, and the one main compartment. Like I said, this is a real basic fanny pack. Uh, so, but, you know, this configuration or, you know, fanny packs really work well when you are, you know, out in the woods, out in the water, that sort of thing. So here we have some fly fishing leader line, 10 pound, 5 pound, 5 pound, couple floats. Weights, and these are the the super soft lead. Um, let me see if you can get that. These are very small weights here, and then there's several different sizes in there. Um, I use scale down gear for trout, guys. I use two pound test, four pound test on ultralight spinning rods with spinning reels. Some wax. All right, now down to the main compartment. Um, you know, I've got it kitted in smaller boxes here, and we'll just go over the the tool line. This is you'll see this in a lot of my videos. Sometimes attached to my uh, PFD. Um, this is a Enright Camp Pack towel, and these are just awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, I kind of got it as an impulse buy at REI one day. Let's go ahead and take this off. And it just applies to it's it's just applies to so many different situations, you know, hiking, biking, fishing of any kind, kayak fishing, trout fishing, fly fishing, anything outdoors. Um, also, when you're dealing with cameras um, or lenses or delicate things, I mean, it stays clean, it it wipes clean, it's very very soft. Um, it's just got a million uses. So this these little Packed up in right camp towels. Uh, they're great. As you can see, I use, if you've seen some of my other videos, I use that pretty much all the time. Beer bottle opener and little multi tool. Take that off. This is my dry fly set. See, I've got all kinds of different stages of caddis and nymphs, um, as well as a couple small minnow imitators and a San Juan worm. But there's a good variation here. Um, flies as well. So this this really works well in just about anywhere here in the southeast. Um, some of these actually picked up out west, like this caddis uh, with the yellow. But uh, yeah, this really works well. Also, these little red ones is what I was recommended to fish with on the Dream Stream uh, in Colorado. So these little things. Um, you know, there's no trees covering that river. It's very wide open, and the trout are very sensitive to shadows and silhouettes and that sort of thing um, and lures as well too so there's the dry flies here's the one I use in the Chattahoochee quite a bit small little box um, on one side I have just a small diver lure that's actually a coho fly I don't use that in the Chattahoochee River that would be 
that would that would be illegal <laughs> but um oops a couple more little weights uh plastics of all kinds trout here love you know beetle spins and small plastic worms uh trout magnets i use those quite a bit those work well too um not so much salmon eggs but sometimes you know you'll get you get them to hit the yellow ones. Um, I guess they think it's corn. A lot of people fish with corn on the Chattahoochee as well, too. Haven't done that since I was a kid, but sometimes you can pick them up just because they're in the habit of eating something that looks like that. I mean, that looks like a piece of corn, right? But um, So these work really well, too. Uh, gold in the river is what you want to go with as far as the Chattahoochee. Um, if you want to catch some of the more sizable trout in the Chattahoochee, I would use either gold minnow imitations or rooster tails with gold flashers or trout imitations, uh, like a brown trout imitation or a rainbow trout imitation. Uh, here's one that works pretty well on the hooch. As you can see, a little bit of orange and green in there, but it is a it's gold spoon, gold flasher. That's where we're at on that side. On this side, we have all the hooks and jig heads and, you know, beetle spin spoons um, or beetle spin rigs these work pretty well as well too pink is always a hot color in the hooch um, this is a micro trout magnet and this casts very well works very well on a fly rod so it's the same let's see same jig head as a trout magnet um, it's just scaled down they work really well, guys. Uh, don't tell anyone I told you that, but they do. Uh, Chattahoochee, I've actually used them in the Nantahala as well, too, and they will pick up fish all day long. Um, a few more floats I would use on a fly rod and some beads, and that's really it. Just more of the same there. Nail clippers, line clippers. Uh, these are going to be bigger flies. These are going to be, you know, minnow imitating flies, streamers, that sort of thing. Uh, definitely for bigger tr trout, bass will sometimes hit these as well too. Got a popping cork. Um, you know, bass love this thing. I mean, it's it's got teeth marks on it already, but yeah, bass dig that. Um, another small popping cork. like a black minnow or black leech fly there and a lot of these I've used more in honestly out west than I have used in the Chattahoochee but I mean this stuff will work in the Chattahoochee as well too so basically you know, the type of, I mean, I'm big match the hatch type of guy, you know, like whatever the fish are feeding on, that's what I want to match to catch fish. So, you know, what I've got here in these three boxes, uh, I've got insects, I've got more insects and minnow imitations, um, and insects, minnow. worms and you know ground type critters that sort of thing so i've really with these three tackle boxes here i've really got the gamut covered um especially for here on the chattahoochee in the southeast georgia north carolina tennessee um got this line for a stringer in case i ever do keep fish i rarely ever keep trout i'm pretty much catch and release there um, trout will take a hook and pretty much swallow it sometimes, so if you trout fish in, keep a set of hemostats close by, because um, this will help not only save your lure or your hook, but it'll also save the fish. Let's 
see what else do we have in here multi-tool and that's pretty much it guys so there it is Chattahoochee River Southeast Trout Fishing Kit um, I've pretty much got all my bases covered y'all let me know if you have any questions or comments um, you want me to talk more about one of these particular lures or how they're fished um, anything let me know thanks for watching